Greetings my friends and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back with another new release review and this particular one I am very very excited about. I've been listening to this album pretty much solidly since it came out last Friday. It is an absolute monster of an album, an absolutely spectacular release, one of my favourite releases of the year I have to say. It's also a band, uh, one of my favourite bands of all time to be honest but also definitely one of my maybe top three death metal bands absolutely love this band i am of course talking about the legendary autopsy the godfathers of grotesque death doom hailing from california usa this is the brand new album ashes organs blood and crypts now, if you couldn't gauge from the couple of little shorts that I've released on the channel recently, I've been very excited about the release of this album. I was absolutely shocked to learn that they had the second album in two years coming out. Of course, last year, 2022, we had the rather excellent Morbidity Triumphant, which is a, a brutal album, a really visceral performance, and of course, it's just pure autopsy. This was one of my favourite albums of 2022. And interestingly, this is actually the fourth album that we've had in a two-year period from the duo of Chris Reifert, drummer and vocalist of Autopsy and also Static Abyss, alongside the great Greg Wilkinson, absolutely fantastic bass player, I must say, um, who joins <coughs> Chris in... Static Abyss as well. So between the two of them, this is the fourth album in a two-year period. So these guys have been on a creative high, absolutely on fire recently. And I have to say that this being the fourth album from those two in two years, there's no loss of quality here. This is absolutely top-notch, high-quality death metal. This is old-school death metal. I would say that compared to this particular effort, Morbidity Triumphant, Ashes, Organs, Blood and Crypt is overall quite a bit doomier. There's almost uh, a little bit of a Sabbath vibe in a couple of the tracks, I have to say. There's a few moments that are faster, you know, more up-tempo death metal pace. But there's also a few numbers in here that are considerably doomier, but in a groovy kind of sabbath way overall this is an absolute stormer as i have to say of course we still have the great eric cutler on guitars alongside danny corrales great guitar duo really iconic guitar sounds from those guys in fact and then there's the previously mentioned greg wilkinson on the bass and his bass tone is very prominent, it's very thunderous and thick. Oh, nice little booklet with some grotesque artwork there. Very, very cool. And of course, the legend himself, Mr. Chris Reifert, on drums and vocals. Chris's vocals sound brilliant. He's just he just seems to get better and better with time. I would say that he's definitely one of the most iconic death metal vocalists around surprisingly audible as in you can actually hear what chris is saying the majority of the time of course this is death metal it's not necessarily meant to be clean and crisp and you know you can hear it word for word it's not the point but unlike a lot of maybe more modern death metal where we get a lot of just sort of odd gutturals and pig squeals and all that kind of caper you can hear what chris is saying and he's also a brilliant drummer as well you cannot fault his drumming at all so Ashes, Organs, Blood and Crips, as I say, an absolute storm of an album, an absolutely fantastic release. I wouldn't like to say that it's better than Morbidity Triumph from, from last year. I wouldn't like to say that it's better necessarily than any of the other Autopsy albums because they've got a lot of very high quality, considerably brilliant albums in their back catalogue. But I would say that this is absolutely top notch death metal and it's certainly classic autopsy take you through a few of the tracks here overall it's i think this is about 40 45 minutes long somewhere in that mark so it's not overly long but we've got 
10 tracks of just absolute brilliance here, or 11 tracks in total, I think. We kick off with the brilliant Rabid Funeral. Again, that's one of the tracks that really has a bit of a Sabbath kind of galloping vibe to it. But it's also straight down your throat, fist in your face, death metal. Classic autopsy, absolutely bludgeoning stuff. Then we've got the much faster pace, the kind of up-tempo, thrashing, grotesque nature of Throat Saw, the second track there. Shorter, sharper, and brutal bludgeoning. The rather doomy and grim No Mortal Left Alive is a brilliant one. We get another really doomy, dirgy track in the form of Well of Entrails there, which is one of my favourite tracks on this album, I must say. It's a real standout. Full of really droney, heavy, weighty riffs there. And Chris's gargling vocals. Brilliant. The title track, Ashes, Organs, Blood and Crips, is, is a bit of a wild one, actually. It's it's not necessarily your, your usual autopsy track by any means. I think that an important point to uh, reference here is the fact that although this is autopsy and this sounds like autopsy, it still sounds brilliantly original. It doesn't sound like they're running out of creative juices or that they're trying to replicate and just kind of keep churning out the same stuff. There's definitely solid originality here. And as I say, that title track, that has some really interesting different kind of textures and flavours to it. It's a really weird number. It's got some fantastic guitar work. The intro and the guitar leads is really ominous, very sinister sounding stuff. It has, has a great, great sound to it. Really weighty track. You get a few more absolute crunches in the form of Bones to the Wolves and the rather fearsome, creepy, shocking, weird Marrow Fiend. Classic, grotesque, autopsy music. Absolutely fantastic. Then we pick up pace once more with another bruising, kind of punky, fast-paced thrasher. Toxic Death Fuck, which is another great one. Before being given a, a pretty savage blow of doomy, dirgy tracks in the form of lobotomizing gods. Death is the answer, which is a manic, maniacal, totally hectic death metal performance before the closing doom epic of Coagulation. A short but nasty, doomy track indeed, but start to finish. Really captures your attention and retains your attention throughout. Each track is very distinguishable. There's no kind of killer and filler separation. It's just all killer, no filler. Not for a moment. There's no tracks that let the side down, so to speak, or, you know, lower the standard. It's just start to finish, absolutely fantastic. Autopsy. I would say, easily, this is one of the best death metal albums that I've heard this year. It's, as I say, it's classic. It's classic autopsy, but it keeps things original. It's still got, you know, a refreshing gruesome cryptic stench to it and also it's got an absolutely disgusting but awesome bit of artwork there as well cannot fault it at all this is just autopsy doing what they do keeping up the very high standard indeed so what are your thoughts on chris reifer and co with their newest album ashes organs blood and crypts what are your thoughts on this album are you an autopsy fan are you not an autopsy fan if you have not heard this album yet, I would absolutely implore you to check it out because it is a freaking monster of an album. It's a grotesque epic. If you love your death metal old school, if you like bands like Incantation, Obituary, um, Cannibal Corpse, if you like bands like that, then you're definitely going to appreciate these absolute godfathers, this pioneering death metal band. Check it out and let me know what you think. Very interested to hear thoughts and opinions of others as always. So thank you very much for watching my friends. Please do feel free to like and subscribe and do check back soon for more reviews and recommendations of all the good heavy things. But above all my friends, do take care of yourselves and stay heavy.